No matter what you're on the hunt for, make sure you stop in every section at the thrift store. So this was a full kit. That would be fun to do with a kid, and I really like the way it looks. Or you could just use all of those pieces for a different project. In this bag, there was, was some floral tape, which I use for a lot of DIY projects, and some dried flowers, which I'll show you. You can stick those dried flowers in a metal flower frog, um, put it under a cloche, I'm still looking for a black frame with a black mat or a cream mat for a charcoal sketch I got a couple weeks back. When I watch other people's videos, their thrift stores look jam-packed. You see how bare this is and how there's really not a lot to pick from? One of the guys I've been enjoying is um, the Antique Nomad, I think is what it is. He was talking about uh, astrology dish not too long ago, and so that caught my eye. Of course, silver. This is maybe quadruple plate. Um, I really like silver and the pink depression glass. Uh, any antique normally catches my eye. I don't know a lot about pottery, but there seems to be a lot of handmade stuff in there. I just about broke that glass tray. This one, how it came off the kiln, um, it was just really chippy at the bottom, so I left it. I do like to flip through books sometimes. Um, people like them for their coffee table decor and you can always frame the images. These vintage lawn chairs, I think my mom had these. They are about $6 each. These little Toby mugs, I think they're called. I like all the different faces. I think this would be something super fun to collect. I see a lot of these birds in antique stores and it's spring, so definitely in season. This one is 10. And you know me in green, so this little planter definitely caught my eye. I like the bamboo texture. I like the size. Um, this one wasn't marked, and I thought it was in really good condition. I wasn't seeing any cracks or chips. I spotted these Carhartts. I think, one, I could wear them, but two, my oldest son has really gotten into thrifted clothing, and the size on these would have fit both of us. The problem, though, I mean, I'm okay with ripping, but ripping in the crotch or butt um yeah that's that's just not going to work so they were definitely high priced considering there was a hole in the crotch my sense of smell is slowly coming back so yes i did smell them and they really smelled like smoke if you are enjoying this video please click that like button and subscribe Bowls tend to be really good sellers because they're useful. You can display your collections in them. They look good by themselves. This one, I really like the pattern. It was pink, not my green, but I still liked it. And then tell me in the comments below, what are Weeblos? I think these are pins. I've really been into art lately. I really like this watercolor. Um, I think that it matches the watercolor that I got last week very similar. Um, I think this one is just too wide for the space that I have. So when I left this morning, it was raining and now, sorry for the gum, the sun is out and it's pretty pretty. You can see there's some storm clouds still. This vendor left a fun idea for this bread box. One thing I hate about having a booth and really it happens in your store as well, things get damaged. This beautiful painting has a huge scratch in it. Not huge, but very noticeable. I mean, look how gorgeous the back of this is. The person signed it, dated it, beautiful on the front and the back, and only for $100 
but that scratch, I just couldn't get over it, so I left it. Okay, let's see what we got. So first, we got this little stand. It's my favorite color green. Another stand. thing of nice long hat pins. And then this awesome clothes pin sack with Anderson's black gold coal. The other thing I really liked about it is it has the maker's mark right here. And then I grabbed a couple books for my friend Jennifer. And then I got a stack for myself. So wasn't in love that the page pages were red, but I loved how they tiered together, stacked together. So we've got a hymnal, a Bible, and this one is also a hymnal. And then this piece is super unique. Someone has taken an old copper double boiler and cut off one end, nailed it all in there. I mean, the coloring is beautiful. And then you can just easily carry it, pick it up. You could hang it on the wall put toilet paper in it, roll up some towels, put a plant, loving it.